So I, I look forward to hearing more about how they've gone about solving this because either way, like I said, it's going to be interesting and, and it has implications for how fast we move forward from here. Because if this yeah. thing really is smart enough to just encounter any parking lot, yeah. essentially for the first time and figure it out, that implies a level of intelligence that says, man, we're a lot closer to full robo taxi than yeah. you know a lot of people would probably estimate at this point in time. Let's go through this. This is a big one, right? Actual smart summon. It's here. It's something we've been waiting for. So they've rolled this out. Um, this new version of uh, version 12.5.3. Looks like we skipped a few dot point releases going straight to that. It's starting to release the hardware for cars and it includes actual smart summon. This is the software update. It says here, buckle up for the ride of your life, except surprise, you're not in the car. Actual smart summon is ass. <laughs> allows your vehicle to come to you or head to a spot that you choose all on its own. It's like magic, but with more tech and less wand waving. And then they call it dumb summon. <laughs> allows you to move your Tesla forward or backwards with simple controls directly in your mobile app. Um, so after years of waiting, the officially actually smart summon is here. This is the next gen, right? Because they did roll out smart summon a long time ago. It was, you know, just slow as, as, <laughs> as whatever. And now it's here. So Elon said actual smart summon is just through the roof. You got Ashokan Swami, the director of autopilot, also very, very excited. Who's ready for some ass? I can't believe he said that. And of course he said actual smart summon. So you got these guys very, very confident about it. And uh, I'll play some videos, but before I do that, tell me what you what you think about this release. Yeah, well, I would go back and say we did have Smart Summon. And there's a reason now that, that they call it actually Smart Summon is because when they originally released Smart Summon, it had some issues. And so they then had to kind of roll back the feature set on that and turn it from Smart Summon into what they now call Dumb Smart Summon um, so that they could continue to develop this. There are just a number of technical challenges and really executing on the goal of what actually Smart Summon is supposed to provide to someone, which is, hey, you know, it's raining outside and you are at the front of a store that you've been inside and you want to summon your car directly to the front of the store to pick you up so you don't have to walk out to it in the rain, you know, something like that. Or, hey, I'm going into the store. I'm just going to get out in front of the store and I'm going to tell the car to go park itself. Um, and it can deal with all that hassle and nightmare, and I'm just going to go inside. So that level of functionality obviously has a lot of value to people, um, but executing it had turned out to be significantly more difficult than Elon originally anticipated. Um, and when they first started to roll it out, they just they ran into some challenges. Um, so it's great to see this now reaching a priority level and getting it back in the hands of customers. I think this is a huge piece of the final, um, you know, requirements of a system that can operate eventually as a robo taxi that you need to be able to handle your parking lots. You need to be able to handle um, all of the, the off of the main road scenarios well. And so that's, you know, basically this is the last operational domain that we didn't really have a product for yet that was released to customers and we are now seeing it. And so hopefully yeah. we'll see it continue to succeed and we don't, uh, you know, hit the ceilings again in performance that cause us to have excessive continued delays. I'm sure there will be, you know, bumps and hiccups along the way and some challenges. Um, but hopefully we can continue to increase the number of users that have access to the system, the number of scenarios where it works, pretty consistently for the next 12 to 18 months. We'll watch these two videos and you can see that it's actually really, really good. This just came out last night. And so we're going to see more videos today, but it's very impressive. And then, by the way, I just bought a brand new Tesla Model 3 hardware 4 and my driveway is a curvy driveway. And uh, you can see it, it can see it. So it knows it perfectly. And so there's no reason why the car wouldn't be able to summon through that easily. Um, even though right now it's not doing it, but I think they will do this now that I, as soon as we get off today, I'll be testing this myself. So let's take a look at some of these All videos. Right. This is my first attempt with Smart Summon on the Hardware 4 Model Y. You can see it over there. And there's a concrete barrier uh, separating me from the car. So it's either gonna have to do a three point turn and come around this way or go all the way to the end of the parking lot. So you can see on here, the cameras are displaying a live view. I'm just going to hold come to me and see what it does. Do you have to press the button come to me? 
This is AI so driver, the by the way. Camera. I just want to keep my eye on the car. Oh, it looks like it's choosing to reverse. This is actually a brilliant test. Yeah, it's going to do a three-point turn. Because he's standing on the other side, so there is a barrier. Ooh, it's really quick with the shifts, just like Auto Park is now. That is nice. Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, I keep <laughs> glancing away from the camera. I'm so excited right now. Is it going to go all the way around? Yes. Yes. See how fast it drives now? It's not so slow. Way quicker than Old Summit, I could already tell you. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, interesting. It has the rear fog lights on. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I think it's done. Here, let me, um, I'm going to summon it. I'm going to show you on the app here. You actually have a, a fairly long range. I don't know if you can see this of where to choose to summon it to. So I'm going to wow. go ahead and just have it drive to the end of this parking lot so you can see what I'm talking about here. But it looks like the rear fog lights turn on. Yeah, do you, can you see that? That red, those red lights right here are normally not on when you're driving the car and they're very bright. Oh my, look how fast I drove there. So you can pick, oh you can press God, your finger. Oh my God, ass is here, you guys. Tell it where it's to go. It's here. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have it, now that it's all the way down there. Yeah, and it actually s stops really fast when you take your finger off the thing here. I'm gonna have it come to me again and I'm gonna stand over where I summoned it from the first time. So it's actually gonna be pretty long range now. It's way over there. And I'm gonna keep my eyes on the cameras. So I'm just gonna hold come to me and we'll see where it decides to go. I'm sorry, I'm, I haven't been looking at the camera. These shots must look terrible. I'm just so excited. Oh, it may not look very fast in the camera, but that thing's moving quick. Way quicker. I, I've used uh, the old Smart Summon quite a bit. Actually, Smart Summon is a bit faster. Here it is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Are you back, uh, Hans? I'm here. So uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, this is quite cool. This is AI Driver. AI Driver has a good uh, YouTube channel. He's on uh, X as well. He is one of the best. Like We, we follow a lot of his uh, drops. This came out last night, and this is fantastic. It drives. Now, there's nobody around because it came out late last night, but uh, great test. I want to see it with lots of people. Uh, but what do you think? I mean, I've got another video that he dropped about roundabouts, but before we do that, what, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's pretty cool to see. I mean, what you're essentially witnessing now is the ability to remotely control, kind of, just like with <laughs> really very abstract commands, like, hey, you know, I'm here, you're there, there's no one in the car, drive from wherever you are to wherever I am, and not just drive there on an easy to define route, um, you know, the real challenge with actually smart summon is, you know, when you're driving around most parking lots, you've never been in that parking lot. You don't know exactly how they're laid out. You just kind of figure it out from context clues as you go. And that's the, the thing that makes them difficult for an AI system to decide, you know, how am I going to get from where I am to where I'm going and having that freedom to just kind of explore the space and go. Um, but, you know, take a very natural path is exceptional and you know like i said this is there are major technical challenges in accomplishing what it is that actually smart summon is accomplishing now and um i, I think there are some other things that we can get into later that it really um gives us a window into how they're going to handle things like remote operation um when they're doing or you know remote monitoring for the uh you know when we have a robo taxi mm -hmm. fleet and there has to be somebody who can handle those few exceptions whatever they are um you know the way that they're handling 
actually smart summon is probably a major building block for what they will do uh, in those remote monitoring and remote operation situations as well. But take a look at this. I just uh, stopped at this. That's fantastic. So this is obviously a view. They, maybe it's a Google Maps. Somehow they're getting this. But it's uh, it knows this parking lot really well. That's pretty high definition. Okay, let's watch the other video that he dropped uh, of roundabouts. Doing another actually smart summon test. You can see where the car is parked. I'm going to go ahead and walk to the left side of the street over here. But what you can't see is this is actually one giant roundabout. So oh, it uh, just locked. But you should not, you should definitely not turn left here. And you should go all the way around the roundabout to pick hmm. me up from right in this spot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the car. How would it know see that? See if it decides to do something naughty or if it knows that it How should would... not turn left into this roundabout. Just went into reverse. All right. It's pulling out. Might have seen a speed bump. Right. It's not. <laughs> Look at it go. It's going to go all the way around the roundabout. Mm. Oh my wow. God. No way. How did it know that? Was there a sign? I think there might have been a sign that says turn right only. Yeah, that will be Here's the just an interesting. The car. And it's just driving over there. You know, oh piece God, of information technically. I'm literally getting chills right now. This is this is weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It is really good. It's, it's taken the long way to get to you, but it knew that it's a roundabout and knew that you're supposed to turn right. It's crazy because this is like oh, some oh, random parking spot, parking God. lot that he found. That you know, how would this car even know this place ever? Unless it's got data from other Teslas that's driven around this area before, right? That's one way. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, I think, a big question. Unreal. Have they gone through some very and large look, mapping exercise? Over a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. Unreal. This is going to impress. I mean, I'm telling yeah. you, I've been saying this for years, that once actual smart summon goes, it's going to be the thing that's going to go. It could be the chat GV2 moment. I don't know, but... Because uh, imagine all the people watching a car driving by itself in a parking lot and it's going to be videotaped. It's going to be on Instagram. People are going to go look at this thing. This thing's driving by itself. There's nobody inside. Um, this could be it. Hopefully we'll see. Yep. And it'll be very, yeah, I think the way that they solved that problem also is important because it it has major implications either way. I mean, you can imagine that either this car is essentially figuring out this situation like it's brand new from scratch and being able to make essentially the right decisions, you know, yeah. for a long period of time in order to do that, or that they have gone through some very large mapping exercise to just say, you know, here, like, it seems like a big problem on the one hand, but then on the other hand, you realize, you know, if you've got a big enough cluster, sure, you can take, you can just ingest satellite data of the entire United States and you can map every single parking lot that is visible from the sky. That's a thing that could be done. Have they done that in order to provide this functionality? I don't know. I mean, one of the things that doesn't give you is it certainly doesn't give you how to navigate every parking structure. Um, and so, you know, then how do you get that data if you're relying on some sort of a structured map in order to make these navigation decisions. So I, I look forward to hearing more um, about how they've gone about solving this because either way, like I said, it's gonna be interesting and exciting um, and, and it has implications for how fast we move forward from here. Because if this yeah. thing really is smart enough to just encounter any parking lot, yeah. essentially for the first time and figure it out, that implies a level of intelligence that says, man, we're a lot closer to full robo taxi then yeah. you know a lot of people would probably estimate at this point in time